Blessed love and blessings way up my fire fam and YouTube. King Ryan Garcia says thank you to at Derek James. Thank you to at Arrow Spence for allowing me to join the team. Now, if any of you guys saw this coming or had an idea that Ryan Garcia was going to join Derek James, Errol Spence, Jamel Charlo, AJ Anthony Joshua, you guys get in the comment section right now and let me know, did you guys see this coming? Because I'm not, I'm going to keep it 100. I didn't. I didn't see this coming at all. Errol Spence, Ryan Garcia. Um, obviously, they're familiar with each other. You know what I'm saying? They were sitting next to each other when Javante Davis fought. Um, Rolly Romero and Ryan Garcia bet Errol Spence, what was it, 30K? And Errol Spence took the bag off of him. So they're very familiar um, with each other. King Rai, Ryan Garcia, he's always showed um, some admiration for for PBC, some admiration for the PBC fighters, um, even if it is calling them out and wanting to fight the best that's that's admiration you know what i mean but clearly in this picture you can see why tank put the rehydration clause on ryan um he's just goddamn as big as arrow spence <laughs> you know what i mean clearly you can see why tank put the rehydration clause on him like come on now here's a nice clip of dj um showing ryan garcia the jab but let me get my big ass head out the screen hold up there we go king Derek james um multiple time trainer of the year trainer of undisputed uh, 154 pound champ Jamel Charlo trainer of unified champion Errol Spence trainer of former two time unified heavyweight champion AJ Anthony Joshua showing Ryan Garcia the jab you know what I mean and Ryan looks pretty focused um, he looks locked in so this is good I spoke about Ryan's training um, when he was leading up to fight Javante Davis and or the lack of, you know what I'm saying? The lack of him um, taking advice, taking critical advice um, from trainers, listening to the trainers. I feel like Goosen was just there to, to collect the bag in the first place. You know what I mean? And then another nice photo of them actually doing the jab together. I'm showing Ryan Garcia good fundamentals and this is basics man y'all hear me talk on my other channel um coach fire boxing in abundance y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to that channel too just basic boxing fundamentals and how important it is and you see that fighters at the world class stage um still gotta be you know what i'm saying zoned in on these basic fundamentals you stick to the basics and repeat takes you a long way and of course along with your journey um and your experience you're going to develop intermediate level skills. You're going to you're going to develop advanced level skills, but you never stray away from the basics, man. Then you got here DJ showing Ryan Garcia good hand positioning. And I noticed that about Anthony Joshua when a lot of people said they didn't notice like much of a difference with Anthony Joshua and Derek James. But one thing I noticed right out the gate, like as soon as Anthony Joshua's fight started with Jermaine Franklin, I noticed where Anthony Joshua's hands were, where the placement um, of his hands were. And to me, it was a little bit different than how it, it, it normally is um, with AJ. Not a very big difference, but slightly. You can tell that they were working um, on the hand position. And, and now seeing this picture with Derek James and Ryan Garcia um, kind of solidifies that. You know what I mean? Now, this one is big because I've done videos on Ryan Garcia talking about the placement of the non-working hand so right now you see him working the long jab Derek James got him got him sticking out the long jab and where is the right hand at though it's right on his eye it's right here you know what I'm saying right where it should be and that's what I'm talking about that's the stuff that we need and want to see from these young great fighters not always fancy pad work and fast powerful pad work sometimes just basics and again here you have more good hand positioning right hand nice and high the lead hand is the lead hand is out there you know what i'm saying halfway to the target already or quarter of way to the target um it's not too low you know what i mean and he's probably in motion um in this picture as well so i want you guys to hop in the comment section right now and tell me what you guys think about king rye um joining the team of Derek james errol spence jamel Chalo, anthony joshua um frank martin also like is it a good look? You guys think it's a good fit for King Ryan Garcia? 
me personally, I think that it's a, I think that it, that it is a good fit. You know what I'm saying? With the styles, um, I think that it's a better fit than, um, than, than Joe Goosen. I think personality wise, um, Goosen and Ryan were similar, but I don't think, um, and I'm talking about like personal, like personality wise, you know what I'm saying? They can vibe, but, um, on boxing level, on like boxing, I don't think that they were a good um, fit for each other I think that Derek James and um, I think that this team would be a much better fit for Ryan Garcia so long as King Ryan Garcia is willing to put in the work because Derek James and them boys over there they don't play you know what I'm saying they like the fame and everything but um, you know they don't play them, them boys don't play Derek James doesn't play very 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 serious trainer so I think that it's a good fit for King Rye. Me, I'm very excited um, to see what the future holds for uh, for King Rye in his development. Because even though he is world class and he was fighting for the face of boxing against Javante Tank Davis, he's still developing. The young man is still in development stage. But you guys tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. And until the next video, keep fighting your fight and protect yourself at all times. Peace and one love is Coach Fire. This is Real Life Boxing.